Well, welcome back, guys. Welcome back to the nation's capital. Um, I, I guess have you guys had a chance to revisit any of the places that you were that you uh, had an opportunity to visit last time you were here, or you know, have you visited some? Are you planning on visiting some places that you didn't get a chance to last time? Yeah, my parents are coming into town uh, to visit while we're here, so uh, I'm waiting okay. for, uh, yeah. for. I might that, tag along, uh, hit yeah. the hot spots uh, with <laughs> Mark's family. Yeah, it's gonna be great. See mm -hmm. some monuments and things. Uh, we haven't had a chance to uh, do any sightseeing uh, since we got here. We've just been beavering away. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, so this time last year, you guys were here with in the middle of no one, and uh, you know here we here here we are yet again a year later. You guys have a new, uh, new show here, which I'll, I'll get to in the um, in a moment. Um, so what do, what would you guys say it is about Woolly Mammoth that convinced you guys to come back? Uh, I don't know what singular thing it is. We mm -hmm. we really like uh, the company and. They run such a tight ship here. And, uh, it's it's so great to be in a venue that's also home to a theater company because that's sort of what we came out of also. And uh, We were in a theater company. We were also on an improv team. And uh, to have that kind of community is such an interesting dynamic. And we're often in comedy festivals, which is a whole other kind of community, which is a lot of fun. But we don't often get to kind of hang out uh with this sort of family, so that it's pretty interesting to get to take a, a look at that. You know, I, I feel like I used to have this big dream of having an ensemble theater company one day, and I still kind of have that dream. And it, and so it's it's cool to see such a strong example of that, and see it succeeding in this way. So it's, yeah, it's great to be around it. Okay. And we had such a great time last year. Like it was a, it was great. It was so much fun. <laughs> when they asked us to come back, it was pretty easy to say yes. Okay. All right. Uh, so so on to your show. Um, just. Uh, just the two of each of us. Can you guys talk a bit about the uh, genesis of this project and kind of the challenges that you face? Because I remember last time I spoke with you guys, uh, you were talking about you were kind of in the preparation. I think you said the mental preparation or the, uh, I, know, I know you had an interesting term for it, but I, I do recall last yeah. time we spoke. When we start writing a show, it does take a little bit of time to kind of like get into the idea of, all right, we're, we're going to do this now. And I think last year, at the, yeah, because we, we had barely started started sort of talking about what the new show would be about uh, back then. Um, uh, yeah, so we, we got into it a couple months later pretty uh, pretty seriously. Um, we took some themes like procrastination and addiction and those just sort of underlying things uh, that, you know, those really fun <laughs> things that, put, yeah. that uh, make comedies great. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, we started, uh, uh, yeah, we, we, we did about six weeks of writing and then, uh, I say writing, but when we develop a show we're very on our feet for a lot of it, um, kind of improvising and stuff. And then, um, yeah, and then we, we opened it, uh, we, we opened it in Australia, uh, performed it a few times there, and it's continuously in, in development. I, we, we ran it, uh, we went to the, took it to the Edinburgh Fringe Festival, we ran it on the West End in London for six weeks, and, and now we're here, and it's still changing. But uh, Yeah, we're, it's always changing, and it's funny because it reaches certain points in the process. Um, where it gets to probably what it should be, <laughs> and, but we have to keep improvising with the in the structure to keep it exciting for ourselves. And things have a shelf life and they'll just die, and uh, so there's this funny rhythm to it where the show will get great in my estimation, and then it'll get kind of worse again, <laughs> and it has to it has to be elastic like that because then I think actually. After it gets worse, it gets better again because we keep adding to it and adding to it, and at a certain point, it will become overstuffed with bad ideas, <laughs> and we have to get in and uh, with our scalpel and, and kind of cut away some of that, and it gets tighter and it and it morphs, but it, it's this tumbling, ever changing uh, show. So what we're performing now is very different to what we opened uh, in Australia last March. March. Wow. Okay. All right, cool. Uh, well, aside from this project, I understand that you guys also have a film that's uh, that's set to release, I believe, next year with the uh, last last uh, sparks of uh, sundown. Um, yeah. Can you guys, you know, talk a bit about that project and what what fans can expect from it? 
Uh, yeah, as soon as we see it, we'll know more about it. <laughs> Definitely excited to see it, see how it comes out of it. It's, it's, it's. Uh, we we hooked up with a, a young film company um, in London that did a short film with us uh, that went on to do some festivals and won some awards and things. And through that, they were able to get funding for a feature, and they cast us in it. Uh, and. We took their script and developed it a lot and did a lot of improv improvising around what they'd written. and um, But it's very much a learning experience for all involved. And, and so, yeah, I'm really excited. We just saw the trailer for it. The trailer looks pretty good. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's exciting. really curious to see yeah. what, what they make out of <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> they had four hours of like i think their original cut was four hours long wow okay. uh, and i know they've gotten it down to like 83 minutes or something so it'll be interesting yeah it's 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 a different thing films uh, over over theater and we're we're just we're just uh sort of starting to delve into that world we've been writing a lot of uh we have our own film projects we're working on that are just in just in the writing stages right now um and uh, yeah, it's a really interesting thing to to see because it's so much in the hands of the of the editing and and you know what you know what comes out. So yeah, I, I was just going to ask you that because because with these shows, you know, it's it's just you two and you know what you guys are able to create. So what, what was it like to do something like that where you you know you have other hats involved and they kind of still have kind of their stamp on it? What I really liked about it was was having those other hats involved and, and just kind of being like, all right, I'll do <laughs> this. And it, it made it, it made it a little bit more, uh, I could focus on just a couple of things as opposed to, to the entire, to the entire, uh, the product as a whole. But on the same token, there's also that, that, well, what is this? Like, what are we doing? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you relinquish, I mean, but I mean, the guys really were pretty open-minded to whatever we, uh, had to suggest in terms of their script, but you know, uh, being a, a double act that has generated our own work for so long, it it is interesting to uh, be in that position of of um, realizing somebody else's vision and how do you re how do you respect them and help them get to where they're going, and then how do you stay true to yourself at the same time while you're doing that? So it's I mean, there's so many different dynamics to it. Um, but yeah, they're great guys and and. Uh, it was definitely an interesting process. I'm really curious to see how it comes out. I, I know it will be at least entertaining. I've, I've seen some of the playback, and uh, I know Mark's like really made me laugh in, in parts of it that I've watched. So. He's made me laugh, too. <laughs> see? Look at that. We still make each other laugh. <laughs> so so do you guys have an update on when uh, when fans can expect that? Um, is, it, is it just slated for 2014, or is yeah, there a yeah, month at... Yeah. Sorry, I think that that there that film is debuting in the London Comedy Film Festival in January or February. I'm not sure exactly. January, but, I think. Yeah. Okay. So, All right. Cool. So then. Cool. Well, awesome, guys. Thank you so much for your time, and it's always been uh, a pleasure. Uh, the the show, just the two of each of us. Uh, it opened on Tuesday on the 10th, but it'll be here until uh, January 5th. That's right. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, thanks again, guys. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. Well, thank you. <laughs>